dear students thank you for stopping by and clicking on this video today our topic is transitive verb and intransitive verb today we are going to understand the difference between a transitive verb and an intransitive verb right students as you know that sentences in english language contain a subject and a verb but many of them contain a subject a verb and an object as well so today we are going to understand how we can differentiate between a transitive verb and an intransitive verb so i have not uh, i'm not giving you the definition right away rather i have written some of the example sentences here in two different columns and with these example sentences you are going to understand the basic difference between a transitive verb and an intransitive verb so quickly shift your focus here column a column b these are the two types of sentences i have written first one she eats an apple first you have to identify the subject here so subject is she she is the subject eats is the verb and apple is the object fine so this sentence contains a subject a verb and an object right move to the second sentence you write a poem every day here you is the subject write is the verb and poem is the object now understand here since eats is a verb here and eats contains a direct object to receive the action performed by the subject right so she is the subject here and she is performing an action and that action is eating and what she is eating she is eating an apple so eats is a verb here and this verb has a direct object to receive the action performed by the subject so this verb is called a or this verb can be called a transitive verb fine similarly second example write is a verb here and write has a direct object to receive the action performed by the subject so you is the subject and you is performing an action of writing and the object that is receiving and the object which is receiving the action is the poem okay so poem is the object write is the verb and you is the subject so again verb write has a direct object to receive the action performed by the subject and subject is you now i am going to make you understand the sentences written in column b first sentence she jogs regularly here in the sentence she is the subject and jogs is the verb and this verb doesn't have any object to receive the action performed by the subject since this verb doesn't have any direct object to receive the action performed by the subject this verb becomes an intransitive verb right now second example they walk every day so here subject is they verb is work and there is no object to receive the action performed by the subject and subject is they says this verb again doesn't have any object to receive the action performed by the subject this verb is an example of intransitive verb right move to the third one the book fell book is the subject fell is the verb and this verb is intransitive verb similarly puja is the subject clap is the verb and this verb is intransitive verb why this verb is an intransitive verb because this verb doesn't have any uh, object to receive the action performed by puja here puja is the subject similarly my friend is the subject danced is the verb and this verb is again an example of intransitive verb i hope this concept is clear i will quickly read out all the sentences pavan has bought a bicycle pavan is the subject bought is the 
verb and bicycle is an object. Similarly, I is the subject, receipt is the verb and letter is the object. Here, he, he is the subject, helps is the verb and father is the object, his father is the object. All these verbs which are written in column A, these verbs, they, these verbs have direct objects to receive the actions performed by various subjects, right? Since this particular verb, take an example of this particular verb. Since this verb has a direct object to receive the action performed by the subject, this verb is called transitive, transitive verb, right? So all these verbs are the examples of intransitive, sorry, transitive verb. Now in column B, all these verbs like drops, verb, fell, clap, danced. So all these verbs are perfect examples of intransitive verbs, right? I hope it is clear. So transitive verb and intransitive verb. So I would like to quickly wrap up by saying that a transitive verb has a direct object to receive the action performed by the subject whereas an intransitive verb doesn't have any direct object to receive the action performed by the subject. Now students I am going to talk about three significant points related to transitive verb and intransitive verb in my next video. Do watch part 2 of this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.